Welcome to the second part of the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to submit any assignment or term paper in Turnitin. So once you are logged into your Turnitin account, you will see the class here, right? So this is your class name. So bus 302 summer 2020, click on it. And then you will see this page, which is basically your assignment inbox. That means all the assignments that you have to submit, all the term papers that you have to submit will be shown here. In case, if there are no assignments due or no assignments being posted by your instructor, this page will show nothing. This page will be empty, okay? So for the time being, as you can see, you have one assignment due. For example, let's assume the given assignment is on SWOT analysis. So you have to submit an assignment on SWOT analysis. Now, if we look into the details in this mid section, here you will see quite a few important dates. Number one is the start date, which is 20th June 2020 in this case. So this is the time the assignment was first posted by your instructor, okay? So the assignment started on 20th June. This is the due date, the second one. And here it is 30th June. That means you have to submit your assignment by 30th June. 11:59 p.m. and the most important part to note here is that you cannot delay your assignment because this is an automatic software so by any chance if you miss the deadline then the software or the system will be automatically shut down so it will be difficult for you to submit the assignment so in case you are unable to submit the assignment in due time please notify your instructor and the last date, which is the post date. This is a bit tricky to understand. Say the assignment was posted on the start date, which is 20th June. The due date is 30th June. So this is the time you submit your assignment. And after nine days, which is from 30th June to 9th July, your instructor takes the time to grade your assignment. Okay. So 9th July is the time when your instructor will provide you the feedback or your marks on the assignment. So 9th July is the date after which you will be able to check your marks on the assignment, not before that. So again, by the post date, I mean, this is the date after which you can check your assignment marks. So this is regarding dates. So you have three types of dates. So this is an assignment due and these are the dates. And now let's assume you have done your assignment and now you want to submit your assignment. So come to the right hand side of your web page and here you will see the submit button. Click on this option. So on this page, you will see your first name, last name is already given because this is your account, right? Now the submission title, say the title of your assignment is SWOT analysis on maybe chillox yes so you have done a swot analysis on chillox so your team has chosen chillox for swot analysis purposes so once you have written all of those information now you can choose where to upload your assignment from it can be from your computer it can be from your dropbox account or it can be from your google drive account whichever you need you can select that option so for now let's assume it's your computer so the file is on your computer. So go to say it's on your desktop. And then this is the SWOT analysis. Yes. So now it is uploaded. And once you're sure that all the provided information is correct, now you can upload your assignment from here. So once you are done, select upload. Now the assignment is being uploaded. Now, once it is uploaded, you will see a summary of your assignment. So on the left hand side, you have author details, assignment title, submission title, and all the necessary information. And on the right hand side, you have a small preview of your whole assignment. So in this case, it is just a one page assignment. So you have not written more than one page. However, if you submit more than one page, then you will be able to scroll through or go to left and right to view all the pages. So once you are sure that all the information is correct here, you can select confirm. 
So yes, your submission is done. And as you can see on the top of the page, congratulations, your submission is complete. This is your digital receipt. You can print a copy of the receipt within this document viewer. So this is one piece of information that confirms that you have submitted your assignment. Additionally, what you can do is you can go to your email account and there you will find out that another email from Turnitin is there. So once your submission is complete, Turnitin will send you an email. So if I go in there, you will see Dear Ananta Jalil, paper ID, and you have successfully submitted the file, SWOT analysis, CLOX, blah, blah, blah. So this is a document that ensures that you have submitted your assignment. So yes, you are done. So you can return to assignment list and your work here is done. See, you have submitted your assignment and the option is now grayed out. So you can do nothing else here. So your assignment submission is done and now all you can do is chill, right? So until the feedback is there, all you have to do is chill for the moment. See you in the next part of the video.